Do you know how earthquakes happen? The Earth is split into seven parts called tectonic plates. The layers that make up the Earth, from the crust to the mantle to the outer core and then the inner core, they move a lot. They stretch and slide. As I say this, I'm realizing, why do tectonic plates exist if they cause earthquakes? When there's unusual heat, they cause them to move even more. When they get too close and crowded, the pressure causes that area to sink. The places that tectonic plates meet are called boundaries. And I noticed that earthquakes are very serious, and that's how earthquakes happen. Some effects for earthquakes. In an earthquake, bad damages and effects can happen. There is a lot of facts to learn. Did you know earthquakes can break underground and underwater pipes? Also, an earthquake can affect buildings, homes, and bridges, and they can fall in roots. Another fact for an earthquake is animal homes can get roots. For example, beavers spend their time to make their homes in a place and water flows down the street. People can get hurt and firefighters come to save them. When I really think about it, it's really sad and tragic to the family. Then the earthquakes can affect roads and highways. It can crack roads. As I understand this, I'm starting to realize that if cars are coming by the road, the car will fall in the crack. Whoever is alive from big earthquakes is probably really strong and powerful. This shows me that earthquakes can be really dangerous. People may think that earthquakes aren't that often to happen, but we should always be prepared. Predictions for earthquakes. There are a lot of predictions for earthquakes. Let us tell them. Animals have strange behavior. Water may seep from the earth. This connects to get lakes, lakes getting muddy and dry. Also, earthquakes tend to happen when the sky color changes. As I say, the weather and color are kind of part of an earthquake. Next, one side of a fall may rise up a bit. To add on, it will make an earthquake happen. Sometimes before an earthquake, there is unusually warm weather. When I really think about it, I know why there are not a lot of earthquakes in Maine, because we have seasons here. Another thing, gas bubbles will appear from the water. Also, weird silence in the weather right when an earthquake is about to happen. The level of well water may shift noticeably. In China, there were predictions of an earthquake, and they didn't really have one. This shows most predictions are true, but do not a main prediction. But scientists use a seismogram, an instrument for recording the intensity and direction for an earthquake. Have you ever been in an earthquake or lived in an area that gets lost? If you have, you need to know how to stay safe. Do you know how to survive or stay safe in an earthquake? Do you know that teachers in some schools teach kids to drop, cover, and hold? Drop means to go to the ground, cover means to protect yourself, and hold means to stay there and hold on. They learn to go under something and stay away from windows and anything that can fall over. While you're under something, you have to huddle in a ball. If something moves and you are under it, you have to move with it so you stand, stay under it. If you have an earthquake, stay where you are. If you are in bed, protect yourself with a pillow. If you are outside, go somewhere clear. This is an example of a survivor case. This shows that you don't really want to do anything or go near anything. If you are in an area that gets a lot of earthquakes, people build homes on solid rock. People should build rectangular or square homes rather than circle homes. Flexible materials such as steel and aluminum are better than brick and stone. In other words, people who live where earthquakes happen a lot have to be cautious or careful of everything. If you're in a vehicle, stop and stay in it. Don't stop under anything that can fall. If you look at a warning system for a tsunami, you can see if there's an earthquake because an earthquake underwater is a tsunami. Do you know how people say to stand in the doorway? Don't do it. It won't help you. If you're in an earthquake, try to stay as safe as you can. If you do everything, you will stay safe. Important events about earthquakes. Let me tell you them. I'll start off with 1556. It took place in Shenzhen, China. One of the most deadly earthquakes. It killed about 830,000 people. I'm beginning to understand that there were many loved ones killed in the tragedy. To add on, one, to add on to this topic, in 1811 through 1812, New Madrid, Missouri had a tragedy too. A quick opened up the earth five miles long, five feet deep, and ten feet wide. Another earthquake is 1891. Central Japan crumbles almost every building. Whole forests slip down mountains into valleys. In 1811, Alaska Displacement Bay, they called it a Pelti. A quake left a flat beach 
almost 50, on a cliff almost 50 feet high. The last one I'll be talking about is 1,100 died one night time. It sends people screaming in pajamas and nightgowns in the streets. This is Mighty Tender, standing up in a quick and eighty. He started shaking, then intensified. Mighty dead. I stood in the doorway, trying to protect him from myself. I must say this now, I know, standing in the doorway won't work. What a stop, picture frame, who's still flying off wall. I looked out the window. I saw people trapped under pieces of fences and statues. People started calling for me for help. I went down to help everyone I could. I didn't say this, I'm realizing Mike is not selfish. And then a cloud of dirt and smoke hung over the city. The dust went down, and every building that was standing fell over. Mike thought Haiti was ruined forever. This is Emma Burke's experience of an earthquake in her hometown, San Francisco. Everything fell over, the piano curled across the room. They had to get dressed really quickly. They stood in the middle of the street in their night clothes. To add on, other people were crying and running out of the houses. The art museum shattered and cracked. The side of the house came off. Made she crack in half. Electrical poles fell on people in cars. This is giving me the idea that, the earth, that this earthquake Emma survived in could have been one of the worst earthquakes ever. Emma said, I hope this never happens again. As I say this, I'm realizing earthquakes are very serious.